Hello my cost saving lovelies and welcome to yet another video. In today's video I'm going to be talking about sweet potato, everything potato. I'm going to be showing you how I moved from this to this and then to this, yes. Sweet potato swallow. This is what this video is all about, how I was able to make my sweet potato swallow. So when you get your sweet potato, the first thing you do is to peel your potato. You can decide not to peel yours if that is your preference but I I, I prefer to peel mine and then next I cut them into pieces this is to allow them dry easily yes so this is what I do next after I peel I make sure I cut them into pieces before soaking them for a period of three days now you want to make sure you soak it for a period of three days now what I do is I keep changing the water i want to make sure that all the sweetness of the potato as you know sweet potato as the name implies is sweet so we want to make sure that all the sweetness in the potato comes out completely so as you can see um this was um overnight i think this was the third day or so you just keep changing the water until um you are satisfied with um the outcome as you can see i'm just checking my sweet potato to ensure that it um has um soaked properly it has fermented properly and all the sweetness of the potato is out now the next thing you do is to place it on a drying rack this is what i use and um, before I allow it to dry completely, I first of all rinse it under running water. This is so as to um, reduce, you know, after soaking for some days, it begins to have this very um, fermented smell. So I don't want it to have that very strong smell. So I just rinse it under running water and allow it to dry for about three days. I take it in um, every evening. I allow it to dry. And um, if, it's, um, if it's very dusty, you can cover with a mesh cloth. So, and then if you have a dehydrator, perfect. Now, this is me just showing you after, I think about three days or so um, of sun drying. And it is as hard as, I don't know what to say. But it is well dried. That is what I'm trying to say. So next, what you need to do is to pound. If you have a mortar and a pizza you can just pound sorry i didn't show that process and then you take it to the commercial millers and then you get this very fine um powder after that i will always sift anything i take to the commercial grinders because you don't know what um either fell inside is because i don't want to have any form of dirt in my um potato um flour this is just me again showing you how I prepare my um, sweet potato um, swallow or fufu whatever you call it so you just make a paste is as easy as um, just the way you make your swallow basically so you make a paste you just add some water make a paste and um, then you stir ensure that there's no lumps um, whatsoever next is get your water boiling guess what i was using my kakwa charcoal stove to make this wonderful um sweet potato <coughs> swallow and it came out perfectly so this is just me in boiling water i began to pour in my um paste um and i stir as i pour you will see that it begins to thicken you just continue to stir as you add in your um sweet potato paste and um, you continue to stir until you get a very smooth consistency and then you cover and allow to cook for some time. After some few minutes I came in and to stir and I added my sweet potato flour. You make sure you add as much as possible depending on how um, thick you want your um, swallow to be some people want their swallow to be very very um, soft but um, 
well some like this a little bit hard so you just continue to add your flour until you get the perfect consistency that works for you so if you've watched up to this point i want to say a very big thank you please don't forget to like this video share with your friends and if you're a new subscriber please ensure that you subscribe to my channel help me get to 1000 subscribers this year okay thank you so you continue to stay as you can see i have my perfect consistency so i decided to finish this off off camera after i finished turning i added some water and allowed it to steam and voila here we have it you know i'm all about saving costs and i want you to save costs too so i would advise you to make your potato flour when potato is in season that way you don't have to spend so much in making your potato flour so please don't forget to like share and comment down below Bye bye